I'm uh, I'm more happy that we're going to play just one league. You know, that was very very important. It is not conducive for players to go to a club, play in the ISL, come back and play the I League with a different club for many reasons. Uh, so I'm just happy that we're going to play one league this year. Also happy that these two leagues are having uh, are, are happening simultaneously. That means a lot of players are going to play. A lot of Indian players are going to get opportunity. What was happening with ISL was the same players were playing in ISL were coming and were the were the major part of I League also. That meant a lot of other players, a lot of young ones, a lot of you not know, those fancy players who weren't getting employment, mm. which was really sad. Mm. And thankfully, one good thing, one major good thing about having these two leagues uh, uh, separately, uh, a lot of Indian players are going to get chances, which is very very important. Mm. So that's, that's why I'm very happy. Uh, it was a <clears throat> A lot of order thought went uh, on choosing the ISL and coming to ISL, uh, and the cl- it's not just an overnight thing. Um, and then and the and the and the owners and the officials, along with few of the players, knew about this, and we're just happy to be a part of ISL. Uh, as far as players are concerned, doesn't change anything. Uh, we were playing a league which we wanted to win and work hard. It stays the same. Mm-hmm. We're playing a league where we want to win and we want to work hard. Before that, uh, we have the AFC Cup commitments, and uh, one thing about this club is we just want to improve every year, and that that's constant. That hasn't changed, and uh, that's why I'm really really happy to be at BFC. It doesn't matter which league I'm playing; I'm just going to go there and give my best. And the extended season, how important is that in terms of building? Uh, in terms of keeping the players active keeping the players fit keeping and and how and feeding into the national squad as well yeah, it's, it's very very important uh, loyalty is a word you're looking for because uh, it's difficult you know when you play let's suppose when i was playing for mumbai city fc where i had a great time mm. but you have to switch on you have to go to a different club mm. uh, behave think want love that club mm. which you do because which i could because i i was having an amazing time there Right from the owners to the ball boy, there were, were, were brilliant. Uh, but then suddenly, in about one week, you have to change, yeah. you have to come back to another club, and you know, and it's not easy. It's not easy to adapt to clubs like that in such a short time, mm. and also with the way you're going to play, with the different coaches, it's not easy. So in that context, I'm 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 really happy. It's going to be a five or six month league. Uh, I think a little bit of adjustment because of the Under Seventeen World Cup. Mm. And I just hope, with what I have heard, uh, don't quote me, but with what I've heard, is uh, it's going to be a more longer league in coming years. Mm. So yeah, longer league helps because you can plan your games better, and they can have we can have enough time for the national team. Mm. Um, and yeah, you're playing Saturday, Sundays, and then Wednesdays are for the cup games or the or the Federation Cup, let's suppose, or the AFC Cup games, and then you have enough time for to plan for the national team. That that'll be the best uh, criteria, and I just hope that we achieve it. More, more teams in the in, in league, ISL or I League. More clubs to come in uh, to be a more panned out throughout the country. Don't have only uh, the hot centers like what we used to have, <clears throat> and that'll be really good for Indian football. Nothing much. <coughs> it just, you know, the best part is um, right from the owner, Mr. Jindal, Path. The, the 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 coaching staff led by Mr. Oka, everyone is in sync. The one thing that we want in this club is to improve. Mm. Uh, we are quite fortunate. We worked hard, of course, but we are fortunate to win. To, uh, that we won trophies every year, mm. which is which is always helpful uh, because it gives you a belief. It gives you a fan base. It just it just tells you that you are progressing. But one thing is constant in this club that we want to improve. So now we have come to an ISL, which is uh, our first time. I individually as a player and a lot of other players have played ISL already, but as a club, it's the first time, and we just want to go there and give a good account of ourselves, uh, whether it's in terms of the way we play, um, you know, we conduct ourselves as players or as a club. We just want to give a good account. Mm. We have we have high standards of ourselves, which we are very proud of, but uh, we know how how much hard work had to be put in, and it's not only the players, but the coaching staff, the management, you know, right from the owner to everyone. And the best part is everyone is willing to do the hard work. Mm. Everyone is ready to put in the hard work, and everyone is or are in sync, which is very very important at a club. Then you feel that you are a, a a part of a process or system which is progressive, 
and which is very very important especially for me you know once you pass 30 and when once you have done fairly good in your career and whatever you have achieved or whatever you have experienced it's very very important that you have challenges very 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 important to be a part of a team which challenges you you know otherwise uh, you know you might get stagnant and which probably is uh, is the end of anything good you want to do the moment you are stagnant whether it's because you have won stuff whether it's because you are a part of a team that doesn't want to improve uh, it's 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 not an ideal situation to be in so thankfully i'm in a club where everyone wants to improve and to answer your question in the isl it's not going to be any different uh, we travel to north korea uh, in the afc cup and we want to win the tie and do well and then so on and so forth and when the isl comes in in, in november we just want to give our best we want to be a team which is difficult to play against we want to be a team which is difficult to beat and give a good account of ourselves as far as club is concerned i me and a lot of people who are involved with this club from day one were not very pleased after the draft because we lost a lot of star words of our team we lost some pillars of our team you know losing the likes of uh, marino anto eugene singh lindo you know ck vinit amrinder singh it wasn't something that we wanted yeah. uh, that's the way it is and uh, not only the kind of players they were or they are but the kind of role model they were for this club you know when you have when you have players who are talented in your team and who feel that way for a club it's it's a bonus mm-hmm. and to lose all these players uh, i'm sure i'm going to, I'm, i'm missing a few of them few few other sandeep jingan yeah you know i didn't take sandeep jingan's name because he wasn't here from day day one yeah. but especially people like reno anto who is our yeah, captain yeah. see kevin eat and uh, eugene sin lindo and what yeah. a great story reno anto is man how yeah. like his life has also kind of taken True. a turn because of his involvement with True. bangalore and True. Like yeah. i mean i i know they feel for the club yeah i know for a fact it's going to take some time for them to get over the fact that they're not going to play for bfc yeah. in fact reno and vinith came to watch the north korea game yeah. uh, when have you heard this last time when you come for some other team to it just tells you what they feel about the club yeah. <clears throat> i know eugene i got messages from eugene sunday and everyone i'm in the before the game mm. they were here Mm. they were a part of us qualifying mm. they feel for the club and suddenly <clears throat> you are told one day that it's going to change as humans it takes time uh, but we all are professional we just have to move on at the end uh, i was sulking and i told my <clears throat> i told my family that the club is bigger than any play it has always been like that it always going to be like this yeah. we just have to move on and uh, happy with the new inclusions that we had that we have uh, it takes time to adjust as a, as a team especially when we had a team which had played together for 3 years it was brilliant mm. but it's all right man we we'll, we will adjust uh, we'll try our best to cope to the given situation and as i said just to be a team which is difficult to play against i mean i i feel home here yeah uh, and, and we're in your new house congratulations on that thank you so much sir thanks a lot yeah i feel i feel home here i bought this house uh, you know when, I, when 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 we decided that we we're going to come to isl when i had a choice of choosing a club uh i had a great time at mumbai city fc and i'm not just saying because i want to make it even mm. or make them happy mm. i had a great time there right from the owners to the ball boy to the physio to the masio they were brilliant i had a great time there so the transition when i went from bfc to start an isl campaign wasn't difficult mm. it becomes a little bit difficult and dodgy when you go into a club where things are not great for you mm. but it was so smooth for me to go from bfc right. to mumbai city fc to play isl because everyone around everyone in world was so nice and so kind and we had a great team yeah. the team bond was there at mumbai city fc but because i'm been here from the start from the first stone from the first brick I wanted to choose this. Uh I had a talk with the Mumbai City FC officials. They knew it. I was upfront, I was straight. I didn't uh, sign BFC and then tell them. Yeah. I told them and they understood. And then I signed BFC. Uh for me there was only one choice. Uh because I love this club uh, and uh, I'm I'm here. I I feel home here. <clears throat> and topmost are the choice i know for a fact that there are a lot of other players who feel the same way that i feel for the club 
but they are not here. Mm. So I had a choice. Yeah. That's why I'm here. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's just the way we bonded. It's just the way we played. It's just the way the fans came in. It's just the way the whole setup was there. It's just the way that everyone is in sync. Mm. You know, when as I said, when the system is going well mm. and when everything is fine and you feel home, you don't want to change. How often have I felt like this for any club in my career? Can't say much. Can't say many. So when you feel that for a club, you stay. When you're happy as a player, on and off the field, you stay. So for me, it wasn't a difficult choice to make to stay at B BFC. Mm. I would have loved to have all those 17 players that I had last year as yeah. a captain. That would have been great. But that's the way football is. Things change. And as a, as a professional, you just adjust soon. That's what I'm trying. That's what the other players who were here last year are trying. And uh, yeah, eventually we'll be fine. We'll make new mates and we'll make a new team and we'll try our best to be, uh, to be a good team.